The Australian government claims this is a joint American-Australian facility. There's just no one around. I don't think I've seen one American. Where are they? Well, they're, uh, let me tell you, they're all around you. <laughs> Along with a fairly substantial number of Australians as well. Uh, no, I mean, seriously, where, are, where is the commander? You know, I mean, can we talk to him? Well, they're inside the buildings, and the view that the Americans would have, and, I, and this is a view that I would support completely on that one, is that uh, when it comes to a discussion on the, uh, the joint facilities, it is an Australian responsibility, not theirs, to hold that discussion. Now, uh, isn't that, it joint? It is joint, but I think the Americans would acknowledge the country in which the facility is located and to a very substantial degree be guided by that country on uh, matters related to uh, public revelation and debate about the facilities. It's enormously politically sensitive for the Americans. If the Americans were to come in and uh, become active participants in the Australian political debate about the joint facilities, then I think uh, you could, uh, they would lend themselves to accusations of uh, political interference being heavy-handed. Is the CIA involved? Well, we don't go into a discussion of the, uh, the detail of uh, who provides the uh, various workers in different parts of the, the system. The cooperating agency is the Department of Defence and uh, it is with the officials of that department that we uh, deal with the, uh, on the joint facilities. In my reckoning, there was a blatant lie to say we're building a space research facility. I don't think uh, the actual description of space research facility is in itself inaccurate, it's just simply uh, incomplete. Can it be used to help the American war fighting machine? In a sense, the information itself is value free. How you put it to use is a, uh, a second matter. My view would be that on balance, that information that is gathered is more likely to serve uh, the interests of international peace than otherwise. Have you ever seen any information from Pine Gap that has helped arms control? Well, I think the best way of uh, handling that is to go to an example of what happens when one side or other loses confidence that it is capable of that monitoring. Uh, we have the example of Jimmy Carter trying to get through a second version of the SALT Treaty in the Senate after critical monitoring facilities have been removed from Iran. Just ask you again, mm. have you ever seen information from Pine Gap that has helped arms control? Well, I guess I'd spend more time monitoring the activities of the joint facilities than any other minister has ever done. I spend a considerable amount of time with it. And when we say that the general purposes and functions of the joint facilities are what we say they are, and that role that you mentioned is incorporated, that is based on the uh, most thorough understanding of the uh, uh, operations and the information which uh, emerges. So you know exactly what information is received here? Yes. You know how it's used? Yes, we know where it, uh, where it goes to, yes, in generality, how it's used. Well, I mean, some answers you're specific on, and others you say, well, in generality, but well, how it's used... Yeah, well, well, I mean, for, for all, to all, point, reason, well, to all reasonable intents and purposes, yes, the facilities are associated with the early warning function of missile attack. They're associated with the effective monitoring of arms control arrangements. If Pine Gap is about arms control and deterrence, then why has the arms race accelerated so dramatically? Since it was built, the arsenal of strategic nuclear weapons has increased almost threefold. 
Since the first domes appeared at Pine Gap, no arms control agreement on offensive strategic nuclear weapons has been ratified. No agreement has committed any side to surrendering any of its nuclear warheads. There are 50,000 nuclear weapons in the world today, poised, ready to strike, enough to blow up the world 13 times over. The United States has located its targets through Pine Gap. Is what our own Minister for Defence said today enough? We got just a glimpse. There have been 12 significant censorship cuts, 17 minutes of film, not be shown. It was once said that Pine Gap was an innocent space research station. Instead, it has proved central to the greatest system of mass destruction the world has ever seen. When the red dust blows out here, 